eating a bowl of cereal. He looks at his friend and then looks at the screen. Still nothing, huh? <sighs> nope. When is this due? Friday. You know that's two days away, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how long oh. does this thing have to be? That's fine. I don't know what the fuck they want. Hold up. They want a romantic comedy action flick? Does this producer know the type of stuff we write? We write crap. I mean, it's dramatic and artsy crap, but it's still our crap. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, I mean, I like our crap, too. I mean, believe me, but our crap isn't giving us to, you know, keep this roof over our head, man. We got bills to pay. We need money. This producer is, I don't know, taking a major risk by hiring us to write the script, so... Until we get the rest of the money, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to write whatever the fuck they want, man. Uh, yeah, you do. Wait a second. Uh, ha! Got it. Um, yeah. That's what we're writing. Look, think of this, like, as a challenge to test our screenwriter ability. You know what I mean? Our writing skills. If we pull this off, we can be on the road to moving out of this fucking crap shack and into a fucking mansion, dude. Alright? Playboy mansion style, son. Alright? Look. I can be Batman. You can be Robin. Which one? Uh, the third one. The one that... Uh, I don't know. Not not the first one that joined the Titans, or the you know the second one that got his ass handed to him by the joke. You know, with the nipple suits. All right. So then it's like, crap, man. What time is it? My face. Oh, uh, dude, wake up. We get any work done? It's. I don't even have a watch, but fuck, dude, it's Thursday. Friday. Like Try to like. What I'm thinking is like, don't. I don't have this whole thing memorized. So. Yeah, but like, don't sound like like hungover. Just sound like semi like you're like you're stressed out that this is taking you so long. Friday, man. It's like Friday. Good Friday. Didn't they give us an advance of like fifteen thousand dollars? I mean, you know what what happened to that? All right, that's my line. Huh? Is it my line? Have a show. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back. Hold on. Start again. I don't know, man. I, I guess one of the executives loved Roadhouse. I don't know, man. I, I agree the outline is really dumb, but we really need the money, and I think we can make something really interesting if we put our heads together. I don't, I don't know, man. This is, this is, this is it sounds like it could turn out really yeah, bad. You know what? Think of it as a challenge, man. All right, uh, the, the, the challenge of our writing skills. If we pull this off, all right, we can be on the road to moving out of this crap shack and into a mansion. I can be Batman. You can be Robin. Without the nipples on the bat suit. You're trying to sell it to me. You're, you're like a like a car salesman. Okay. Like you really come on. Think of the challenge of our writing skills, man. I mean, if we pull this off, uh, I mean, we can be on the road, moving out of this crap shack and into a mountain. I mean, for crying out loud, I could be Batman. You can be Robin. Without the nipples on the bat suit. Which one? The third one. The nipples on the bat suit. I did kind of answer it. I was kind of ad living. <laughs> All right, which one? Say that. Which, uh, which one? The third one. The one where they had the nipples on the bat suit. I mean, not the first one that joined the Titans or the second one that got his ass handed to him by the Joker. The second one, he didn't get his ass handed to him by the Joker. Jason Todd. Huh? Jason Todd. Are you talking about which Batman are you talking about? The Tim Burton one or the new one with, uh, um, what's his name? That should be a crime against humanity. Okay, so we're just doing the, the comic book reference. Yeah. Do you think the comic book reference would really work, though? I don't think a lot of people would get it. Um, the movie reference, they'll get it more than the comic book one. I mean, exactly. I'm not one that wants to go mainstream either, uh -huh. but I mean, the movie reference. It was like... That's what I was working on, was the movie okay, reference. Okay, okay, so instead of... It's, so, it's, so it's like... You could be like, which one? It's like... Because nobody's going to get the Titans joke. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. know, like, the Teen Titans or the, you know, whatever... Uh, that uh, 
Dick Grayson, the original Robin. I mean, I read the comic books too. Um, didn't he get killed? Very one. All right. Dude, think this is a challenge to our writing skills, all right? If we pull this off, next day we can be on the road moving to a freaking mansion, all right? I'll be Batman, you'll be Robin. It seems like our, I guess we really have to sell it as the characters to, to believe that we're in our own world, but people won't get references. Okay. You know what I mean? So like, like it, it's like a, a good way to solve it is like, like, like if, if you say like, I can- Right here. Because unfortunately, you do have to go for a mass audience. I mean, that's the part about filmmaking that I do not like, mm -hmm. is the fact that you do have to hit an audience. Because if you don't get a decent return on investment on your investors, they're not going to want to like pay for a movie again. You know what I mean? And that's the part that I hate the most. I mean, I love the craft. I love, I love being creative. I love writing. I love acting. But the thing is, it's still a business. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you still have to like hit a demographic, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's certain, like, niches. And this is definitely, like, you know, if you if you showed this at Comic-Con, the short film, people would get it, you know what I mean? But, like, if you're just, like, trying to put it on YouTube, like, you would get, like, 50-50. Some people will hate it. Like, I don't get what the hell you're going with that reference or this and that. I mean, it's only a couple lines that yeah. just need to be changed. That's it. It's nothing going to be, like, five minutes. So... For this now, you want me to be that like sort of, because I'm the shaggy man, so I got like the fact that I'm just like a dude, just doesn't care, like whatever. It's like I'm like Ben Affleck to Matt Damon. You ever see that skit on Family Guy? <laughs> yeah, you know, like uh, Ben Affleck is just sitting on the uh, the couch while Matt Damon is writing Good Will Hunting. He's like, oh, you've not contributed anything to the script. You got any more pot? <laughs> yeah, <You know? laughs> like that's what I was thinking where my character was kind of coming from. Like, you got any more pot? He needs to, uh, he needs to apologize for, uh, Reindeer Games. <laughs> Although, you, you know what the funny part about that movie is? Is, like, when you watch it enough, uh -huh. you kind of start to enjoy it on, like, some sort of, like, Mystery Science Theater 3000 <laughs> level. It's just like, that's kind of funny. I mean, I can understand, like, you know, when you first get in Hollywood, you're like, yeah, I'll take the big paycheck for the big movie, you know what I mean? I think that's what, it, he makes a better director, actually. Did you ever see, uh, Gone Baby Gone? That was really good. You know the the best Kevin Smith joke about him? It's like you No, know, him and Kevin Smith are fans, so that's like why. he was at like an in evening harder with Kevin Smith and like a book, like a fan asked like, So what'd you think of like paycheck with that like, like Ben oh, yeah. He was like, Paycheck, that's pretty much all it was to him. <laughs> paycheck was a paycheck. <laughs> he was like, Yay. And I get to make out with Uma Thurman, so you know. Yeah. It's like okay, like in okay, at the beginning, it's like you're not drunk, like you're more like like you're tired, like you're like, because you've been okay. Motivation for character. The reason why I'm 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 tired because of the fact that I've been trying to work on it for so hard, but I can't think of anything yeah. because I know and I don't even want to tell you the fact that I spent all the advance money. Yeah. So I'm trying to make up for it. You know. What yeah. I mean? <laughs> and I don't want to tell you. And then the halfway point where we get drunk and I'm just like I don't even care anymore. And you're just like you spent all our advance money. You have to care. Like at first you're just like trying to go with me on yeah. it. Yeah. And then towards the end, that's when you're just, like, worrying about us as a team, like, as screenwriters, because our careers are over if we fuck this up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something like, like that. And aliens. We're just like, we gotta fucking write the script, man! We gotta get it done! We already spent all the advance money, and, oh my god, you didn't even write the damn thing! I've given, given you notes all week, and... We, we, we got we a gig. Got, we got an advance man 15 grand. I was like, great! Please put that in the bank, because we need to, like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Click. Then I come back, like, and I like, and you then it's like, put that in there. You want to write that down, like a little, like. Hold on, how long is this? How many pages is this? So we need to start filling those blanks. I mean, trust me, Bob. A lot of the people that are gonna be working with, they're all good at improv. Yeah. You're good at improv. Darmesh can get it done with duct tape. Yeah. I I prefer sets like that. Everybody has their own process. I don't like the studio. Yeah, because I mean, like, if some of the extras, because I'm thinking like some of the extras. Mm -hmm. For executives, I like I don't want them just to be sitting there the whole time. Just like, well, well I was thinking about the race, like you know, last minute where it's just trying to finish it up, and then we're running, and then we have like a montage while we're running, and then we like switch to them just sitting there, and you like you have the elevator music playing in the mm -hmm. background. They're looking at their watch, and they're just waiting for us to come, and, and then it comes back to us like running, like to, with the script in hand or something like that. You know what I mean? 
and then it cuts back to them and they're just having like this conversation about how like the last piece of crap movie like made them so much money <laughs> like um so we're thinking about doing a sequel to the snorks really basically and it's like if your friend's name is christy right christine christine yeah, yeah christine because i'm thinking like also like if she's all like you know beautified up the yeah you know, Give her the glasses and yeah. the hair bunned up and the, the oh. exact chick. She definitely looked like uh, some chick that works in an office, like a secretary. Maybe. Yeah, because I'm thinking just just for the hell of it, just to kind of play force to the whole business thing. Like one of them could just, one of the guys could just kind of be like, I'm not really hitting on her, just kind of like, so how's your husband treating you nowadays? And I'm like, oh, no, he's fine. <laughs> one of those just, random pieces of conversation. It's like, oh, he's fine. You know, he bought me this. Like, really? You know what? What are you going to, you know... Let me take you, you know, show you this, blah, 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 type of thing. Just kind of like the, that hitting back and like flirtation back and forth. And, yeah, exactly. The, the, yeah. See, that's awesome. What we need to do is like we need to go back and forth. Like the action scene is us running there through whatever like hurdles. We're jumping over mailboxes, blah, blah. And then every time like when we're going over like some sort of physical gag, maybe you trip and I pick you up or I trip and you pick me up. And then we cut to them having the normal conversation to like elevator music, like, yeah, oh, they'll be here soon. And I also think the way to make it work is give uh, producer Bob's character a sort of backstory, why he likes the roadhouse, you know what I mean? And that's why he hired us, uh, because one, it was cheap, and two, um, we were new to the business. We wrote an indie film that made some money, so he wants to make some money on his next crappy blockbuster that he hires us to write. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. just give him a sort of backstory that we can put in there as well as he's talking, as we're running. You know what I mean? It kind of makes sense. You know, we're building up to the climax as we're running. And then uh, the way to bring it down is like a roller coaster, up and down. You know what I mean? We're mm -hmm. running whatever physical gag, action sequence as we're trying to make it on time with our deadline. We hear the conversations between Bob and his fellow producers, and they can improv some of it. But I think like there should be like certain well, yeah, yeah, lines. Like, that, cause that's why I like I'm gonna write like give everyone like at least maybe three lines, maybe one or two three lines each, and then like when we're there, always like okay, this is what you sort of have to say, but kind of go off of it, and we'll just film it. Jared, talk to me. Jared. Jared. See? We don't need to buy lenses. We just use sunglasses over <laughs> what we have on our camera. This looks very depressing. Look at this. Dude, that's awesome. See? That's how Everybody... we Darmish operate. Look, you don't even need to, like... It's like, what happened to the world? It died. <laughs> Nuclear holocaust. Gonna, I, I guarantee you, on the East Coast, we're going to be like the MacGyvers of indie filmmaking. Well, it does create like the like a good like filter for this guy. Like, though. Look at awesome! How awesome! All you just need is that and the sunglasses. How awesome! And, like, look at a regular person. Looks like, like isn't that stylish? Isn't that kind of cool? It's like the world just died. Yeah. yeah college ruled ninety pages. The funny thing is that like, I was thinking like we have all these good you know people coming in just to be like extras, but then I know that they can act. So I was like, you know, I should probably give them, give them like at least one or two lines. Just yeah, to, or you like, have to always because you know, you know they're going to be around because if they really want to like act, if they really want to do something creative, you know what I mean? It, you, you give them a chance. You know what yeah. Because I mean? you, you can never tell with people. Everybody is just, everybody's different. And I, I like to give everybody a chance. It's like my bleeding heart, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. I I, I, I I never try to judge a book by its cover. But sometimes there's like another half of me that does judge people. And that's the part of me I don't like. This is a really good angle of you. Really? Let me see. What's up, peoples? <laughs> Been there, done that. Interned at Raleigh Studios in L.A. Mm-hmm. And they mostly did like reality TV shows, and one guy brought me on board, and he told everybody that I was his writer. <laughs> like you, he owned you. Yeah, that's funny. And uh, I don't know, I just didn't like the process. And the first day that I was there, they put me in a room with an investor, and they're talking about like moving like ten units as if it was nothing. I'm like, wow, that shit is crazy. 
Hollywood is crazy. And it's always like some trophy wife who is married to some sort of plastic surgeon, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. that wants to invest in your movie or your idea or your script. I'm like, really? That's, that's it? This is uh, Dharma's favorite movie, Dar- uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Yeah. <laughs> Are you missing someone? No. Yeah, just so just an extra crew person. Calling me, but it's fine. <laughs> I think we got it covered. So we need you today at work. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Hello. You go around that way. <laughs> it's blocked here, huh? Should you be a little askew when you come in? Yeah. Um. Well, like have a, like have hair come out the front of teeth or something. What? Something that makes you look. Yeah, like. Oh, well, shut up. <laughs> For forty hours. Oh, be quiet. Something makes you look a little, little more bizarre, a little more empty to the uh, to the producer. Screenwriter slash director slash. Andy. <laughs> what does he say? He's all the guys some here for <laughs> oh my god, you kind of do. <laughs> I just realized that. I don't have my head shaved. Alright, so oh, yeah. where am I, where am I going? It's over here. Alright. In the grease. Thank tree. you. Can I smack you in the balls now? I'll sit in my tree and talk about things that bother me. Mm. <laughs> bother me. Werewolves, bother me. <laughs> you can see that. Jimmy Fallon, make a bother. Try again. Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, uh, <laughs> what was it on? Uh, Saturday Night Live. It's no, it's uh, the Jimmy Fallon show, but you can watch it on uh, robertisbothered.com. Yeah, you gotta see that, man. And then you go back and like look at scenes in Twilight, and it's just like the whole time he's like in a tree talking to her. He's like, has this like bothered look on his face. He's like, bothered. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh, I hate yeah, I think every American hates Crosby. I hope I bet you can bite chokes today. I thought you just killed him. <laughs> 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 I bet you just like cream. <laughs> that guy's ridiculous. All right, you, you need uh, audio, uh, right? For sure. For sure. Well, not for this for adaptation. Sure. Oh, you don't need it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone needs to start everybody. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. You sure you awesome. don't need any uh, <laughs> audio? Not, not this part. Like, you don't need audio. You're going to need music over it? That's why it's a great sport. Because it can help People are like, yeah, I'm going to it. Breathing and, and this and that. Balls and white Here you go, Dermish. Uh, I was with the Bruins for a while, then I lost my job two, and I three, couldn't pay for a full year. And then I got back on to the Apple Dumpling game, which is like... Who's second producer? Brandon, third is Raj, fourth is Jasper, fifth is Kevin, sixth is Tim, seventh is... Chris. Female producer one, female producer two. Why are we here? Should we move our scripts out of the way? Why are we all Yes, here? move scripts out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over inside you, man. Yeah, come back. Alright, ready? Look bored and angry. And we are rolling. All right, ready? Action. Cut. Okay. More time. How was that? It was good. Yeah, I got top water. Yeah.